Greetings, everyone. Today is Friday, January 31st, 2020. I'm in McClinney, Florida. 61 degrees, mostly cloudy out. Standing here in front of the McClinney, City of McClinney, Florida Public Safety Building. It's this building right here. It's a fairly new building. You see here, City of McClinney, Department of Public Safety. Let's see, City of McClinney Fire Station, dedicated December 2015. So fairly new. So we'll go in here if we can. I don't see anything that says that we can't. Looks like it's publicly accessible. We'll take a public tour of this building. Maybe ask some questions, see what's going on. Yes, hey, sir. how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I just thought this was open. Um, I just wanted to ask some questions about the building. It's important. Uh, just we're taking the public on a public tour of the pu public building. Uh, I have like 80,000 subscribers. I do a YouTube video. In reference to? I'm sorry? In reference to? Just taking the public on a tour, sure. just asking questions. Did, did, just I, a... did I take you on a tour? Go. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. That's great. <laughs> so my name is Jeff. Hey, Scott Cruz. With a public, uh, with a on your oath and a photography is not a crime. So I just want to have some basic questions about the building. Sure. Looks like a nice building. Fairly new, I guess, right? Uh, about five years old now. About five years old? Okay. One and a half, one on five, end of the year. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this is the... What, what all do you guys do out of this? We just run the local fire, fire service for city. Oh, okay. So it's not like a, um, uh, what do they call it, the emergency operations center or anything like that? Where there's we have the capabilities of running that. If mm -hmm. we had to run it for our own, normally our emergency operations center is part of the sheriff's office for this county. Okay. <coughs> if we had to run our own for the city of McLean, like a natural disaster or a big emergency, we, could, we have the capabilities of doing it to a degree. Interesting. Interesting. And uh, you're the chief. I'm the fire chief. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice to meet you. Um, so is there any other information that uh, you could tell the public, tell the followers? What would you like to know about it? Uh, <laughs> we, we serve the city of McClenny, uh, about six, half, seven square miles. Okay. We, uh, we run just fire service out here. We don't run a rescue uh, EMS service out okay. here. We run um, what we call third-party service with a county rescue service. They provide EMS service, and we back them up in our jurisdiction. Um, we just run a basic fire EMS type calls, regs, you know, same thing every fire department does. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, being so open and yeah, everything. No, so you want to take a tour of the building? Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 It's, it's open building. It's a public building. I just say I didn't know what you wanted to see or if you wanted to. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of our, uh, sure. this is kind of our uh, admin in. Okay. It's got a couple of offices here. Um, we have a, a training room here that's open to the public to use for, for meetings. And, and oh, we'll nice. Long it out, or uh, different people use it for different reasons. Um, okay. Say, do they yep. do like city council meetings here? Or do they, uh, city Hall has a, uh, a chambers across the street for city hall for uh, city council meetings. Um, we have uh, civic groups, um, women's clubs, just different things. Need a little meeting area, we, we allow them to come in and use it. Like I said, it's a public building, so they wonderful. We, we do offer it out. We don't advertise, but people that know about it, they you know, they call us okay. so occasions. Go, hey, can we use y'all's training or meeting room? And, and, and we offer it out. So. Great, great call. <clears throat> we usually inquiring about our uh, EOC capabilities. This is kind of our dispatch area, so we do have the capabilities of running, like say, uh, doing our own dis. We don't do our own dispatching, but we have the capabilities of doing our own dispatching. Okay, just in case for yes, backup. Yes, our, our dispatch comes through the local sheriff's office. All right, they so, so are, for redundancy, yeah, for yes, safety it, reasons, it is, that makes sense. Is, That's uh, good to hear. That's good. We to hear. can. We've been used as a backup to them, like during big storms and, and, and big events, if they get overwhelmed, they can transfer a 911 call straight to here. We can put somebody in here and house it here. Okay. And then we can do our own dispatching for us. Uh, there is another fire department in the county. The county has a fire department outside of our jurisdiction. Right. Uh, and we can do dispatching for all the agencies, okay. short of the sheriff's office. Understood. They're on a whole different radio system. Okay. Thank you. Kitchen and day room. Wow. Yeah. Guys, the relaxing the evening times. We, we we don't let them sit down and do too much relaxing until after five o'clock. Okay. Uh, usually during the day, we try to stay busy. Even if we're on call, we got a gentleman studying for his paramedic exam over here. Oh, okay. Uh, they've been out doing some truck maintenance and truck checks and stuff. They do every morning. Have a little routine they do every morning. So uh, right. you would try to stay busy, not just to sit down as as well, a lot of the public yeah, perceives us as to sit down and watch TV <laughs> and eat all day. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. Uh, it's nice to have though, just in case. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, each each shift has their own refrigerator and pantry, so they kind of keep, keep that separated. We have three okay. shifts. Um, have a little nine one one or nine eleven memorial. Um, 
So this is still being from one of the buildings? That is a piece of steel from, from one of the uh, buildings at the, uh, at the site. Uh, Amazing. I was able to attain it a number of years ago and uh, make a little, little uh, presentation there. The flag has all the names of the firemen that died that day. Uh, wow. Uh, make, making the lines of the flag there. So there's names of firemen in here. And these are all fire firemen? There's yes, no, no law enforcement officers there? That's that particular one's just for the, uh, the firefighters. Wow. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of just a, this is their day, what we call their day room, kind of their downtime room. Uh, this is kind of the, the day, day shift office. The guys are working during the, on the shift this particular day. This is where okay. they do their paperwork and kind of keep some of their supplies and stuff and, and do, do, their, do their office work. And this is kind of living quarters. Uh, we have a men's side locker room and, and bunk room, and then we have a women's uh, locker room and bunk okay. room on that side. Gotcha. Um, Housekeeping stuff, laundry room, little storage room, outside patio for, for outside cooking. Nice. nice. And this is the, the apparatus bay. Excuse me. This is the trucks we keep here on a day in, day out basis. This is what we call a squad here. Uh, carries some of our technical stuff, such as rope rescue, dive equipment, um, air system for, for breathing air, for, for diving in, and all our firefighting gear. So. Okay, and then you have the, the regular engine, I this guess? This is a regular engine. That's our first, what we call our first due out engine. That's, that's one they make calls with every day, day in and day out. Okay. Uh, and this the is workhorse. A, this is a, a, a ladder truck here. It's a 95 foot, what we call a tower or ladder or platform truck. Okay. Very amazing. And we have a, a, a brushing wildland truck at the back there, a little smaller one. Hey, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure, um, sure. And that's, that's kind, of a, kind of our place here. We're, we're, we're proud of it, but it's you know, fairly new to us still. We used to have an old place that stood pretty much in the footprint of this or part of it. It's okay. about nowhere near as big, but I would say it's a fairly new building to us still. So yeah. very, very, very happy with it. It's a blessing to have. It, it is. It really has been. Uh, I can uh, I can give you my card. It's sure. kind of I've had it in my sure, pocket okay. for a few days. We're good. Like I said, my name is Jeff. I'm with Pinac News. I'm okay. on your oath. I'm not sure if you've heard of me or familiar with who no. I am or anything like that. Okay. Um, but thank you so much. You're certainly welcome. It's great, open, You're transparent, and yep. uh, uh, awesome tour. Thank you. You're certainly welcome. All right. Anything we can help you with? All right. You have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so that's a uh, big pass for the city of McClinney, uh, City Hall, and across the street over here, at the uh, city of McClinney Department of Public Safety, where I was just at, and they gave me a nice tour. And uh, this is the way it should be done. Uh, there was no panic. Um, these folks treated us very well. Uh, they did their jobs. They didn't call the police. They didn't freak out. Uh, and this is just all we as civil rights investigators or First Amendment auditors, whatever you want to call us, want to be want to happen. You know, we're accused of instigating and going out and trying to start trouble. We want bad things to happen, but we don't. What just happened here at the city of McClinney or Department of Public Safety over there? is exactly what we want to happen. We want public employees to respect our First Amendment protected right, to gather information about what public officials do on public property, to know what our public officials are doing, to know what our public officials are doing on our behalf and at our expense, and to respect freedom of the press.